Good morning, everybody. Today is a very special day because it is Nala's birthday. You're one today, aren't you? I love how I think she's going to reply. Nala and Buzz are one years old today, so 5th of September, 12 months. You've been alive for 12 months. Well done. And well done to me and Alfie for keeping you alive. <laughs> you survived 12 months, Nala. Yay! So we are going to go for a celebratory walk on the beach because it's one of her favourite things to do. And then I'm going to come, then we're going to do a bit of food shopping, I think. And then I'm going to make pup cakes. Because pup cakes. Pup cakes instead of cupcakes. cakes. Pup cakes. Pup cakes. Pug cakes. P U P. P U G. Pup cakes or pug cakes, as Alfie's saying, um, which is kind of like a dog friendly cupcake, basically. Um, because tomorrow we're actually going to be celebrating with Alfie's family and Buzz as well, because people are busy today. Um, and I've also kind of gone all out. Obviously, I have. I don't do anything a tiny bit. Got so we've out. got two. We've got two one balloons. One for Nala. One for Buzz. <laughs> and I also bought a little pug cookie cutter because I'm going to make cookies for the adults. I've also got some little party hats and I've got some little napkins that go with the party hats and a little happy birthday garland and then with the pup cakes. And then you're going to have your little party tomorrow. Yes, you are. Should we go for a walk now? Should we go for a walk? <laughs> Alfie, should we go for a walk? Shall we go for a walk, Alfie? Also, how beautiful are these flowers that Google sent me for hitting 9 million subscribers? Aren't they so amazing? And they came in this little vase, which I also really like. I just love the colour of this rose. It's like a dusky pink. Really, really super pretty. We're now down on the promenade, and Nala's here. Obviously, Alfie. <laughs> She's walking quite well. It's just every time she sees a dog, she gets really excited. I'm scared it's gonna rain. It looks very gray. The sea looks very still though, doesn't it? I wish we had changed. Oh look, dog friendly beach. That's new. That's not always been there. Where's the dog friendly beach then? <laughs> 20 miles this way. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. Just be down there. Your dog is welcome on the beach between the these barriers. Oh, okay. So this one's the dog beach it's here. Look at her go. <laughs> I wish we had the long leaves with her. I know. We're now on the dog friendly beach. I think it's just like a section between the walls that's dog friendly basically. Whoa! Whoa! Look at her, she's not scared no, of stones at all. Are she doesn't like the sea though. <laughs> Like it. Nala. Nala. <laughs> Just got back from the walk and not only did I get those lovely flowers from Google which was so nice, I also just got some flowers from Gleam with a balloon. I've got so many balloons in this house right now. <laughs> Yay! Me and Alfie are going food shopping now to grab some bits and pieces and I want to grab some ingredients for the cupcakes and the cookies. So we are currently in pets at home trying to look for presents for Nala and Buzz. So far we've got Buzz a dragon and Nala a blanket. Because she loves her blankets. Where's Alfie gone? Where are you? Oh. She loves her hedgehog. Let's yeah, let's get owl. her the little owl. But she likes a hedgehog because it's, it's got bumps. bits sticking yeah. out. Maybe if we find something similar. All this stuff. Also got oh look, she might like this Alfie because this is like the thing Anna got with all the little fish in. Yeah. But oh, she's look, got squirrels. Here. Replacements. Turns out everyone comes to Marks and Spencer's on a Saturday. But this is our trolley so far. It looks very healthy and very colourful. Oh, that's Alfie's way of getting yeah. stuff in the trolley. <laughs> Just throw it. It's fine. Yummy, yummy. I've lost Alfie. I think he's chatting up some old ladies somewhere. Now is the part where Alfie has to put everything in the car because he gets annoyed at me if I do it and it goes wrong because I just throw Not it. Not when it goes wrong, you literally just pile everything on top of each other. 
now all the eggs will probably break. It's like a game of Tetris. Although I That's was really how I good. See it. Hey, I was really good at packing it actually in the bags. So you'll, yeah. you'll find. I have found. I have found. We just met the most lovely viewer and her mum. And they were so lovely and sweet. It was so nice. I didn't realise how, like, I feel like we were, like, probably the youngest people in there. Oh, the average age, honestly. Average age was, like, 60. Yeah. It was quite nice, though. I think old ladies smell great. I was like, oh, her perfume smells amazing. Oh, her, done. King of Tetris. Amazing. And we're close to the trolley park. You also might get run over, so be careful. Are trolley shop? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Bump last minute, that would have got it. Damn, I think he needs more practice. Me and Alfie were just saying, I feel like I burnt my nose yesterday. Yeah, I felt like I burnt my face. Remember yesterday, you said to Look me, at my nose, sunburn. I burnt it. Because we were outside. That's crazy. And you have. Yeah. Look at your nose in my camera. Yeah. How funny, a little bit of sun and you get burnt. Um, me and Alfie were just saying in the shop then, it was all parents and elderly people. And we got stopped by three different sets of parents in there just then. It was three, wasn't it? Yeah, three sets of parents. Yeah. The kids weren't there. The kids weren't there, it was just, just the parents. And one, it was of, the, so one nice. of the dads was like, Can I have a selfie with you, Zoe? Yeah. Just took a picture of like, Zoe and the dad. Yeah, it was so funny. I like meeting the parents just as much as Think I love meeting the Think how much the they're viewers. getting at home. Like, if my parents, when I was younger, if my parents went somewhere and they were like, Oh, look, I got a picture with Busted or something, I would have been like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why didn't you? I been so annoyed. Why wasn't I there? Yeah. Um, no, it's really sweet. It's really cool. And then I always think they must be the coolest parents. Like to think like that. Because like some yeah. parents could literally be like, oh, I think and that's the person the my daughter well. watches. Oh yeah, and we signed a little book. Yeah. But the, some people might think, oh, that's the person my daughter watches on YouTube. Cool. Yeah. Other parents go, I'm going to get a photo. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Smart it's like, it's like cool parents. Okay, let's go. Nala's probably like, where have everyone gone on my birthday? I've been abandoned! Brain freeze? I I've got a headache. And Alfie was like, why aren't you drinking more water? I'm like, because it's so freaking cold, I can't it's drink so it. It's so cold, you know when you swallow and it go, you can feel it go... Yeah, right down, all the way down, like right out to the other side. Not for me. I don't normally do things like this, but I thought... Because I got all the washing, washing out, shopping out of the bags, and Alfie's actually going to put them away because of his weird Tetris thing and putting things away. <laughs> um, so whilst I've laid it all out in different categories, we've got fridge, um, cupboard over this side, cupboard over this side. I thought I would give you a little bit of like a shopping haul, I suppose, food shop haul. Sort of some of the things I've bought. So this is everything I kind of got for baking for the cookies and the pup cakes. Then we've got some chicken. These, I love these. These kind of remind me of being a kid, like the little, but they're just good for like snack drinks, just quickly grabbing one out of the fridge. I don't really know, is this interesting? <laughs> Fruit, oh look at this. Caramel frappe, sweet creamy dessert. It's not focusing, but trust me, it looks amazing. There you go, mm. Nectarines, which are one of my favorite fru fruits. This is the best mashed potato you will ever find that isn't made from scratch. Um, I love mashed potato. You guys know how much I love mashed potato because I go on about it all the time. My dad's mash is the best mash, but I'm quite lazy when it comes to mashed potato and I hate peeling potatoes. It really hurts my hands. Um, so when you want to do it quickly, this is the best mash, and trust me, I've tried a lot. Um, we've got some spinach, we've got some strawberries, we've got some uh, tomatoes, um, almond milk, beetroot, which is for Alfie, I do not like beetroot. Salmon is for Alfie, I don't like salmon either. Mascarpone, we've got more desserts. I kind of went a bit crazy on the desserts. This is a tempeli rhubarb and custard trifle. Yummy. Triple chocolate sundae. Yummy. And this is my ultimate fave. It's the Marks and Spencer's Profiterole dessert. Mmm. If you guys know me, you'll know I do love a good Profiterole. Got avocado. This is the best Greek yogurt also that you will ever find anywhere. So it is a lot more fatty, 10% fat, and it's the authentic Greek yogurt. 
um, but it's so good. I have this for breakfast with berries and honey and it is incredible. It's so thick and creamy and amazing and I love it basically. No other Greek yogurt comes close. Then we've got some peppers. We've got, this is for Alfie. So we've got super wheat berry. We've got super rice and quinoa. Got, seem to have three of those. Um, some grapes, more mash, four cheese ravioli, which is amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Raspberries, look how good these cherries look. I don't normally buy cherries, but they looked really good. Um, baby corn, guinea pigs love that. Um, Alfie bought a fillet steak. Got some sweet potatoes, and Alfie bought one of these things, which I know he's gonna absolutely love trying to fit in the fridge, and open also. And then over here, we've got kind of like the dry food that doesn't need to go in the fridge. Oh, and also two toothbrushes, because we kind of need them. Don't you find that replacing your toothbrushes or your the head of your toothbrush is something that you kind of forget quite easily, but it does need to be done quite regularly because obviously once the bristles go soft, it's not cleaning your teeth properly. So I was like, ooh, when was the last time we bought a new toothbrush? I kind of flip between a manual kind of hold on in your hand, go around your teeth toothbrush. And I also have a Sonicare one, which is pink and amazing. Um, I go through phases where I like to use both. So at the moment I'm going for the manual um, and I need a new one. And I also picked one up for Alfie because oral hygiene. Um, these, which are amazing, got two of these. Some tortillas. These, which you guys all know I love. Donuts. These, which I actually just put in my August favourites. I love them so much. Tiny, tiny little rolls. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but they were so cute. It's like bite-sized sandwiches. Eggs, bagels. Um, multi seed bloomer slices, wholemeal pita bread, some bananas, and some pan au chocolat. Yummy. And then over this in this section, lots and lots of like rice packets, some soy sauce, and some marmite. And that's pretty much everything we bought. How exciting! Alf? Yeah. You actually did make me jump then. So Nala's tired. like, oh my god, is he okay? <laughs> Nala, is he okay? We need to give her her presents, Alfie. Should we give them to her now? Yeah, Come on, have your green tea. I just made this for you. That's right, Nala. You get him up. Lick his face. Oh, what's he doing? She's just standing by your head. You're looking up to me, she's saying, no, I'll guard you, Daddy, you have a sleep. Is she yawning? Yeah. See, she wants to sleep with me. No. Nope. Oh. Come on. Because then the sooner you put the shopping away, the sooner I can start baking. Mm. And the sooner you have some green tea, the sooner you wake up. Were you not tired? I am actually really tired for you some don't reason. Want to nap with me. Kind of do, but I have Come a lot to do. No, you. I have so much to do. I don't. I need to bake. I need to bake dog cupcakes. What's she doing? And I need to bake pug cookies for the adults. Just because I want to. Don't have to, but I want to. Come on. Struggle Normally you're so good. Come on, we're having such a productive day. I know. I don't know. I'm so tired. It's because we didn't have because we missed breakfast. I'm being serious. We have probably. Breakfast. Why don't you have a sip of this and we'll make some lunch? Okay. Come I'm on. For well, you've got a lot of selection about what you want to have for lunch. I might have some yogurt. Yeah, you've got a lot of rice, basically. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna get started on the pug shaped cookies. I got this cookie cutter from eBay. Um, just 
a little pug shape. It's cute, isn't it? Um, and these are gonna be for humans to eat, so we don't have to make these dog friendly. And I'm using this recipe, which is the Ultimate American Iced Sugar Cutouts from this book, which is 1001 Cupcakes, Cookies, and Other Tempting Treats. I think I got this as a present from someone, but I can't actually remember who. So I'm terribly sorry if you bought me this and I can't remember who got it for me. Was it Louise, maybe? I can't remember. But yes, I'm using this recipe. I will zoom in and let you pause that if you want to see it. And you can bake along with me. First thing we need to do is measure out the butter. Butter! So it's 100 grams of caster sugar. Oh, massive lumps just came out. Into my mixing bowl. And butter. Pop that in. Okay, ooh, I've got butter all over my hand. Now we need to mix this until it is light and fluffy. You right there, Al? to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and two eggs into a separate bowl and gradually pour that into the butter and sugar. Okay, now we've got the eggs and the sugar and the butter and the vanilla extract. I think we now have to add the flour and the salt. I read somewhere that if you put baking powder into a cookie mixture and you want to do a shape, it can make it go a bit kind of out of shape and it makes it grow a lot more. This recipe does have baking powder, but I don't know whether I really want to put it in because it's going to make it rise a bit and puff out a little bit. And I kind of want them to really stay this shape, so Maybe I should just put a tiny bit in. I think just a small, small amount. It says one teaspoon, so maybe I'll do half a teaspoon instead. Okay, so this is currently what I am left with. It's like really thick cake mix. It says it should be a dough. I just feel like this isn't a dough, but I'm gonna pop it in a freezer bag and put it in the fridge for an hour, which is what it says. I'm guessing it's supposed to look like this, but I'm sure when I've made cookies before, it looks more doughy than that. So I don't know, and I don't have any pictures to go by apart from the finished picture. So I don't know. I'm just gonna put it in a freezer bag. It says wrap it in cling film, but I don't have any, so a freezer bag will have to do. This just does not seem right. Look at it, that's not dough. That's like thick cake mix. And I added a bit more flour to that. Oh, I don't know, maybe in an hour it won't be like that, okay? Okay, one thing I'm hoping I can do slightly more successfully is the pup cakes. I need one large egg, one banana, some shredded carrots, there's one cup of shredded carrots. This is all in American measurements. I found a little recipe on Pinterest. Um, a third of a cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of honey, one cup of whole wheat flour or just all purpose flour or plain flour. Um, one third cup of porridge oats, one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Pretty sure you just throw it all in a bowl, so hopefully this can't go wrong. <laughs> Combine egg, banana, carrot, peanut butter, oil, honey, and vanilla in a bowl. Right. Um. Okay, so I'm actually going to grate my carrots, I think, because then it's gonna be tiny little pieces. And I've got my cup measurement, so I'm gonna do it into that, hopefully. Okay, I would say that is probably enough carrot, so I'm gonna add, add in the shredded carrot. Mama! Don't be silly. Combine all this 
together. Yucky, yucky, yucky. I need to mash this banana. Probably should have done that in a separate bowl. Can't say that looks too appetizing, although I'm sure it is. Okay, I'm just about to add a third of a cup of porridge oats and a whole cup of plain flour. I'm guessing the equivalent of the American wheat flour or all-purpose flour is just plain because it has, I don't know, I mean, and they need to rise, but it also has baking powder for that too, so I'm not sure. How much baking powder do we put in? One teaspoon of baking soda, okay. There we go. There we go. And now we'll give this a little mix. And now we need to pop them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes on gas mark 170, I believe, or is it 180? I think it's 170. Bye, cupcakes. And now it says to let your dog lick the spoon, so I am actually going to let Nala lick this spoon. Maybe even Alfie might want to try some. Do you want to lick the spoon? <gasps> what is it? Is that nice? Oh, is that nice baby? <laughs> What a nice surprise to be woken up to. I was to say, I want to be woken up to cupcakes. Money. Banana and carrot and honey and peanut butter. Good girl. I wonder if she'll stay with you now. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go where the cake mixture goes. Okay, so I've just got the dough out and it is more doughy now. So uh, I'm just guessing if I work with a lot of flour, then it should be fine. And the pup cakes are out and they look so good and they actually smell not too bad. sure how I made that work but they actually look okay so I'm gonna pop them in the oven now for 10 to 12 minutes do you know what guys I think these are actually really good considering I thought these were gonna be terrible they do look a bit like alpacas but never mind um, I put these in for exactly 10 minutes and they're quite thick um, and they're hard to touch so I guess we'll just leave these to cool down before putting on the icing okay so I'm now making the icing sugar it's royal icing to go on the pugs so I want to basically fill them all in with black icing the only thing is is that the um, recipe in the book was really basic and it was just water and icing sugar and I feel like there are much more kind of a little bit more complicated recipes in order to make the icing as best as it can be and I just found one online it's crouton cracker jacks it's how to make royal ice icing for piping and flooding cookies. So I'm doing this one and it's basically three cups of powdered sugar, so icing sugar, two egg whites, quarter teaspoon cream of tartar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and water. So I've got my icing sugar and my cream of tartar in there and then I think we add the egg whites and whisk it and then I think we add the vanilla and then a dash of water. So hopefully this goes okay. I've never used egg whites in, um, icing before. I don't know if you're supposed to, like is it okay for you to eat? I don't know. <laughs> we'll soon find out. It definitely looks good so far. It looks like icing, which is good. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract now. Okay, so I've just added two teaspoons of water as well and I'm just going to mix that see what it looks like. It looks good so far though. And now I'm gonna add some black food coloring. Whoop! And it just looks like a dark gray slash navy blue, but never mind. Um, and then I added water until it kind of 
disappears after a few seconds into the actual mixture. Um, and apparently now it means that's ready for piping. So let's give this a try. This is where I mess up my pugs, my, my gray pugs. I'm just using a thin icing nozzle and I'm gonna pop that into a clear piping bag. Okay guys, so this is them. My battery just died, but they look so good, don't they? So I'm just gonna finish off the last two so you can see how I did it, if I can put this somewhere. Yay! Look how good they look. I don't think I'm gonna do eyes or anything. I feel like this is enough detail. <laughs> just me managing to actually make them look like this is enough, to be honest. I definitely think I'm gonna leave them like this. I'm really pleased with those. I hope they taste nice. Okay, now it's time to do the pup cake icing. For this, obviously it needs to be something that's good for dogs. So I'm just gonna use some um, extra light soft cheese. And I, I, don't, I was gonna use a duo piping bag with peanut butter, but I felt like that was gonna be too peanut buttery. Um, so I've got a normal piping bag and I'm going to pop my nozzle in. And then instead of having a duo, I'm just gonna put little streaks of peanut butter along here so that it kind of hopefully comes out in the icing but isn't as intense, if this works. There we go. Now I'm just gonna spoon cream cheese in. Okay, so it looks something like this, and then it's time to get piping. Cute. And then because they're doggies, I'm gonna pop a little, whoops. There you go, you can have that, Nala. <laughs> Drop one on the floor. And because they're for doggies, I'm gonna pop a little dog biscuit on the top. Ta-da! And there are the finished dog cupcakes, or cupcakes. I'm really happy with these, guys. Look. There they are, ooh, nice slow panning shot. I kid you not, this has taken me all freaking day, it's half past five now. I think I started this at two, <laughs> half one, two. Um, but I'm really pleased with them. Obviously you're gonna wanna put those in the fridge because it's cream cheese. Um, I'm gonna take some photos now for my blog and then they're gonna go straight in the fridge. We're gonna give one to Nala in a bit, aren't we? Yeah! But um, until then, I need to do a lot of tidying up because look at the state of the kitchen. Um, I am gonna be doing a blog post on both of these things in case you wanna throw yourself a little pug or puppy party if any of your dogs have a birthday coming up and you're as sad as me and you wanna celebrate it. Um, then I'll put everything I used uh, in a blog post because I feel like that's the best way to do it. I basically just interpreted a lot of different people's recipes and ideas and kind of put them all together to create this. So I'm gonna have to try and remember how I did it, <laughs> basically. But yeah, I'm really pleased. Look at the cookies. They look really cool and uh, the cupcakes look really good. I'm glad I did the little smear of peanut butter. I feel like it looks better than a whole massive chunk. Look at these two. Her. She's all like drunk after a cake. Pup caked out. She only had half of it though. They're quite big. You know when she's tired when she lies like this? Yeah, when she's happily on her back. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Can we go downstairs? Birthday girl. Should we give her her present, her new bed and her blanket? I think when we get back from dinner. Okay. Only because we were meant to be at dinner 15 minutes ago. Look at her, she's so tired. Come on then, let's go. Come on then. Come on then. 
I just took loads of photos for a blog post that I'm gonna do about Nala's little birthday treats. Here are the little pug cookies. And now myself and Alfie are going out to dinner with Poppy and Sean to Jamie's. No, Sean's not coming, is he? Oh, Sean's not coming. I feel like he's he's busy. Oh, okay, just Poppy. Mum and Dad are at a wedding and Sean's busy, it's Poppy's by herself. Oh, okay, so Poppy's coming. Um, and I am going to put on my trainers. I'm going very cash today, I've got the worst headache I've just taken some tablets which um, I rarely take I'll kind of drink a lot of water until I feel a bit better but it's not going away I kind of I've pretty much had this headache for like 24 hours so I have taken some tablets in the hope that it will go away and not turn into a migraine um, and hopefully we'll be back in time for X Factor because I am really getting into that and it's the third one now I think so very exciting very exciting indeed we're now in Jamie's and I've ordered my favourite Italian nachos. Oh, what have you got, Pop? Vegetarian pasta. Nice. And Alfie's got a meat, meat one. one. Delicious. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. That's really cool. This is the caramelle, which is the pasta pockets with, I think it's got like three cheeses in it. It's really good. What have you gone for? Super, super food mm -hmm. salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Another Buzz pug. Loves me more than Nala loves me. Look, he doesn't. He doesn't leave me alone. Oh. Look at him. He doesn't leave you alone. So excited. <laughs> Alf, he just doesn't leave you alone. He's all over me. Buzz, come here. Come here. Buzz. Buzzy. Look, come see? here. Look, Buzzy. See? Buzzy. Buzz. Buzz, Daddy. Buzz, Daddy. Does he know who Daddy is? <laughs> Where is he? Dad, you've never even connected this laptop to the internet. Hello. Oh. Go to touch his ears. <laughs> Touches everyone this way. He hates it, doesn't he? He's so unaffectionate, isn't he? Like in that sense, like Nala would love that. Like Nala would, her dream is to have a chew and have her ears scratched at the same time. He lost it. <laughs> right, Alfie's gonna try a cookie. Which one do I go for? That is a big old thick one. This is this one maybe. That one's not That's great. That's quite good. Mm. I think they all look really good. Mm. Are they nice? Really thick ice cream. Yeah. Let me see from the side. Oh, that looks quite nice. Mm. Does it taste good? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Smile. Oh, <got> black. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> black icing is always a nightmare with teeth. I could so have a cup of tea with this. Oh my god, your tongue. It's black. It's literally black. Your tongue is black. Ah! It was like this when we ate Eduardo's cake. It's black food colouring. Is, does it taste nice? You try it. How would they come Don't out? eat too much because I want it. It's really try to light, like soft and easy to eat. Mm. I think I'll have the rest now. Isn't it? Mm. A bit claggy. With a cup of tea. Mm. Well, kind of black tea. A little bit green looking. <laughs> kind of like, not as sugary, but like a shortbread. Mm. And not hard, like mm. soft. Um, your teeth are just ruined. You look like a pirate. I worked my braces in tonight. Just make sure you brush them extra hard. Oh my god! <laughs> Was it good though? Mm. Good. 